Welcome to the Productive Chaos Vlog or PC Vlogity. This is my first video. Um, in later videos, I'm going to discuss in more detail what this vlog is for and what it's about. However, today, I want to discuss something that actually came up on Facebook, which is the U.S. live action adaptation of anime series. Now, currently, there are three anime series that I watch regularly Naruto Shippuden, One Piece, and Bleach. Bleach is currently in talks of making a live-action version for the U.S. A lot of people's big issue with this is what's referred to as whitewashing. This is when you take obviously non-Caucasian characters and cast obviously Caucasian actors. I have never known this to truly destroy a movie. What destroys a movie is, in the case of Dragon Ball Evolution, bad casting, bad acting, bad direction, poor effects. That's what destroyed that movie. But I did read, also somebody referred to whitewashing as what destroyed The Last Airbender. I could not agree with this less. All in all, I like The Last Airbender. I thought it was a relatively decent movie with one of the closer adaptations from the original source material I have ever seen. And now, I'm not saying that people haven't come closer. I'm saying I haven't seen closer. Uh, Aang looked like Aang. Sokka looked like Sokka. Uncle Iroh looked nothing like Uncle Iroh. Okay, so that was bad casting on their part. I will give you that. My issues with this movie were that Uncle Iroh was called Uncle Iro. Aang was called Ong. Sokka was called Soka. Translation was lost on character names, and that hit a nerve with a lot of people. The other thing that hit a nerve with a lot of people was some of the character essence was lost. One of the best examples of this from the movie was the character of Sokka, who in the anime series, could add levity to even the most dire situations. However, in the movie, he lacked any sense of humor whatsoever. That bothered quite a few people. It bothered me. Sokka's lack of a sense of humor in the movie wouldn't be such an issue, except that was an intricate part of who the character was in the anime. Not having that takes away the heart of the character. And no matter what artistic license you're using, if you take away the heart of the character, that destroys him. And that is my fear with every adaptation. It's not that that character will be too white or that character will be too Asian or whatever it is that whoever is going to be upset about. No. It's that the essence, the heart of the character is going to be lost in translation because of either bad direction or bad acting. Stay true to the source material, and if you can't act the part, the director shouldn't let you be in the movie. If the director can't direct the movie, find a new director. Akira is one that has been in the works forever. Always with the pre-production, always with the, we're not going to do it, we're going to do it, we're canceling it, we're not canceling it. Truth is, I'm happy that the Akira movie is taking so long because... At least that makes me think that they're trying to find the appropriate actors for the source material. I think that Akira, well, it should be an Asian cast, as it's supposed to be taking place in future Tokyo, could be a movie done completely with a Caucasian cast if the actors were true to the characters. And that's all I ask. Um... That's about it for today. I'm going to actually start my actual vlog soon, but I just wanted to get this all out there. Uh, that was take 347. Still didn't get it right, but I'm going to post it.